What's up everybody, it's Dan the Bugman. Today we have Indian meal moths and German cockroaches. The first video is a residential home with a minor German cockroach infestation. German cockroaches behave like most other pest species. They need food and shelter to survive. For this reason, kitchens provide the perfect habitat for cockroaches. 99% of all German cockroach infestations will begin in the kitchen. Here you will see me treating the back of the refrigerator with a general insecticide. The chemical will kill the cockroaches on contact as well as flush them out of any hiding places. Refrigerators provide the perfect home for cockroaches. Successfully eradicating the refrigerator as well as other appliances is extremely important in cockroach pest control. The cabinets in a kitchen also provide tons of hiding spots for cockroaches. No crack is too small for them. Here I am spraying around the microwave with the general insecticide. And next thing you know, we have our first cockroach. But unfortunately, this one seemed to escape. I was spraying around the cracks looking for it and looking back at the video, I think it was hiding in that metal hinge, but I should have known because that's a very common place for cockroaches to hide. As you see here, I continue spraying through the cabinets along the joints of the cabinets and underneath. Here you can see why cockroaches love kitchens. There is an infinite food supply along with cracks and crevices that they can hide in. While spraying beside the stove, we noticed some baby cockroaches in the area. It is likely that they were hiding in the stove or around those cabinets. We later pulled out the stove to treat behind it, but we did not see that many. And as you can see here, underneath the sink also provides an ideal hiding spot for cockroaches. Under the sinks, there is usually excess moisture along with the dark areas. I continue spraying throughout the cabinets on the bottom portion of the kitchen. There is always a top portion of the kitchen cabinets and a bottom portion of the kitchen cabinets. Be sure to hit both areas while treating for cockroaches. In this next video, we have an empty apartment building with both German cockroaches and Indian meal moths. The first thing we noticed when we started treating this apartment is the German cockroaches. That is why we were called here to treat the German cockroaches. As you can see, an adult cockroach is hanging out right there. This cockroach is in the bathroom just chilling on the wall. You can tell this one is not an adult because of how dark it is. German cockroaches normally are light brown. However, this one is darker brown with only a light stripe in the middle. On the other hand, however, this cockroach found climbing up the door is not a baby cockroach. This is actually an adult cockroach with an egg sac still attached to it. If you look very closely, you will notice an elongated portion at the rear of the cockroach. This is the egg sac, also called the utaka. The egg sac contains up to 40 baby cockroaches. The mother cockroach carries this egg sac around until she finds a suitable place to put it. But I couldn't be taking any chances with this cockroach. I had to give it the good old stompin'. More cockroaches were found throughout this kitchen. As you can see, we have found two right here, just hanging out on the side of the cabinet. This is not a normal behavior for cockroaches. They are normally hiding in dark cracks and crevices. While treating this building for cockroaches, we start noticing these bugs flying around. And lo and behold, they are Indian meal moths. Indian meal moths are not common pests, but we do see them every once in a while. I was able to catch this Indian meal moth to take a closer look. One of the distinct characteristics of an Indian meal moth is the white stripe along the back of its wings. As you can see here, most of the moth is that dark brownish black color, but just in the center there is a whitish gray portion. While they are called Indian meal moths, I do not think they are from India, rather because they eat meal. Meal as in the edible part of grains or oats. So next time you get up in the morning, be sure to check your oatmeal or cereal for these Indian meal moths. I heard Lucky Charms are their favorite. Right here, I am zooming in on one of their egg sacs. They lay these egg sacs up at the top corners, and actually the moths themselves do not eat the cereal or oats that are being invaded. It is actually the larvae that eat this. 
As you can see here, we found many more moths throughout the home. Most of the time, the moths are going to be closest to their food source, which is almost always the kitchen. But in this case, all of the food had been removed from the home. We ended up finding moths in the upstairs and downstairs bedrooms. I think that this next moth was either trying to be my friend or taunting me, saying, ha ha ha, you can't catch me, you can't catch me, ha ha ha. And finally, here's this picture of a bird I actually caught just a couple hours later. It was stuck in someone's chimney. Can you look at that? All right, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, comment what you want to see next. And just a sneak peek for the next video that I'm going to be posting is going to be the stepping on bugs video.